Hello everyone. Our next story is all about crisps. I hope you like it. Here we go. This is crisps. He's a walking, talking packet of potato chips. He has two eyes, two arms and two legs, just like you and me. He lives in a country called Foodland, which is a place full of funny looking houses. Crisps lives in a funny looking house. His house is shaped just like a kitchen cupboard. The ideal home for a packet of crisps. <laughs> now, crisps was no ordinary packet of crisps. He was an explorer. He was never far away from the coast. Crisps explored every corner of Foodland, from one end to the other. He could walk for miles. One morning, he woke up feeling very adventurous. Where shall I go today? He thought to himself. Crisp took out the map from his backpack. Which corner of Foodland was he going to explore today? I know, he said with that big enormous smile on his face. Let's go rock pooling. Crisp grabbed his fishing net and bucket. Soon he was ready to go. What will Crisp find on his adventure? He arrived at the harbour to find that nobody was about. Nobody was sailing in their boats and nobody was crabbing on the harbour walls. Where was everybody? Crisp climbed down some steps and scrambled over some rocks towards a small beach close to the Foodland Lighthouse. As he approached the beach, Crisps could hear the sound of somebody crying. The noise got louder as Crisps crept closer. But who was making it? He soon found out. It was a turtle and it was in distress. Its neck was caught in some plastic. Here, he said, let me help you. He reached into his backpack and pulled out a pair of scissors. He cut the plastic from around the turtle's neck. Crisps watched as the turtle slowly made its way back down the beach and out to sea. Poor creature, thought Crisps. Good job I got here in time. Then he had another thought. What if there were more animals trapped and they're in need of urgent rescue? Crisps quickly got to work and looked for any other animals in need of his help. Much to his horror, Crisps did find more animals in trouble. He rescued as many as he could. He stayed at the beach until the sun went down. That day he had rescued five turtles and released them from their plastic nightmare. The next morning, Crisp was sitting on a bench at the park, looking extremely sad. Bread, milk and yoghurt could see their friend was upset. Hello, Crisps. You're not smiling. What's the matter? asked Bread. Crisps told them about the turtles he had rescued. Now I must go, he said. I have some more turtles to save. With that, Crisps trundled sadly back to the beach. Poor Crisps, sighed Bread. And those poor turtles too, added Milk. Just then, Yogurt had an idea. Meanwhile, at the beach, Crisp had found another turtle in desperate need of his help. It was caught up in a fishing net. All along the beach, Crisp could see more turtles tangled up in nets and other pieces of plastic. Oh, I'm never going to be able to save them all by myself, he thought. But then he heard a familiar voice coming from down the beach. Hello, Crisps! We thought you could use a hand! It was bread, milk and yoghurt. How can we help? They asked. Oh yeah, interrupted yoghurt. We brought along some more helpers too. Crisp looked up to find an army of Foodland friends walking up the beach. Mr Mash was leading them up the coastline. Everyone was there to help. Even bacon. Some rescued turtles from nets. Some released turtles entangled in some plastic waste washed in from the sea. And some just helped to pick up all the rubbish that had been washed ashore. It was a magnificent team effort to clear the beach and rescue all the turtles before letting them return to the sea. Altogether, Crisp and his friend had saved over 50 turtles. Well done, Crisps, smiled Mr. Mash. We couldn't have saved so many without everyone's help, he replied happily. Three cheers for Crisps, shouted Bread. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! But the celebrations quickly turned into sadness as Sausage and Bacon were carrying an injured turtle up the beach. It's in a bad way, said Sausage. It's got a fisherman's hook caught in its flipper. What can we do? We cannot release it back into the sea because it won't be able to swim properly. This poor animal needs a turtle, Doctor, added Bacon, and soon. Suddenly, Mr Mash had an idea and he quickly made a phone call. It wasn't long before a boat arrived, just offshore. Hello, Mr Mash called a voice as they stepped off the boat. It was Pizza! Now here is somebody who can help your turtle, smiled Mr Mash. Pizza works at the Sea Life Animal Rescue Centre. With Sausage's help, Pizza managed to release the turtle's flipper from the fisherman's hook and bandaged it up 
to protect it from any infections. What will happen to the turtle now? asked Crisps. We will take it back to the rescue centre, where we will let it rest and recover. Hopefully, we will be able to release it back into the sea in a week or so, said Peter. Crisp was pleased to know that the injured turtle was going to be safe. Pizza promised to take good care of it. Crisps visited the Sea Life Animal Rescue Centre every day to check on the progress of the injured turtle. Crisps was such a regular guest that Pizza offered him a job working with the turtles. Amazing! For Crisps, this was an opportunity to work with his favourite animals and help return them back into the sea. It was the perfect job for him. He is now the happiest packet of potato chips in Foodland. Good work, Crisps! And that is the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.